Hello, Trini. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. I know. It's been like two weeks since we did a film and we had to kind of, when you were away, we had to do like Q&A and other things. <gasps> like I did a packing film with Jemima. Oh, yeah. well, it's good to see you. And today we're talking about layering. The art of layering. Layering is probably my favourite type of dressing. And women who wear a lot of dresses probably don't layer that much. Layering, I think, has quite a lot to do with your body shape. But I get many questions saying, can I layer? I'm five foot two. Can I layer? I've got boobs. And I just want to talk about every aspect of how I layer my wardrobe. I do think you're the queen of layering. I never really felt I had boobs in my life and I always felt cold. So that combination of those two things made me layer and layer. And I want to have a whole outfit on me, which will take me everywhere in all different aspects. Okay. So that kind of layering definitely does require shedding through the day or, or transferring in and out different things I've worn one way and I'll wear the other. Do you want to start with what you're wearing? Because this is definitely a little layering number. This is, and this even has another layer that goes on top of it, which is a leopard coat, but I would just be like, I, I would be a, a pig in a, in, a, in a plastic bag. So I started when I was doing, putting this look together, with thinking, how can I wear the sequin trousers during the day? I like the idea of using something nearly more overpowering to diminish their nighttime feel. So for me, this shirt is, first of all, a phenomenally good layering shirt. This shirt is this long. In fact, it's, yeah, lo longer at the back than at the front. And because it's a very soft fabric, even though it goes up to here, it enables me to tuck in the front and have the back just go over my bottom like that. And sequin trousers aren't always the most flattering. So I originally put the shirt on thinking that's great because it will diminish the eveningness of the, of the sequin and I can wear it like that. Yep. Loved it. And then I actually thought, oh, remember that sequin jacket I got? It's not exactly the same, but could I wear it with it? So I put it on. And again, another little layering trick is because I have a long body and short legs. And if I were to wear this jacket like that, it's fine because I've got a very high wedge platform on, but I don't necessarily always like that look. So I quite like something just playing in between, but these don't totally go. What can I put on that will disguise where they don't go, where they meet in the middle, but show off the sleeve, which I love. I thought I'll put this on, which is, I got this Stella McCartney Gilet from Vespia Collective. And Gilets, I think, are a key ingredient to layering. A Gilet is at the center of all, nearly all my layering. And now what happens is you don't realize the difference in the, in the sequin and you've got some texture and comfort and fun. I think I'm gonna show the ways I've used three gilets the most. So this is a jacket I wore so often, I don't even know if it still fits me. I thought very nice, but it felt a bit wrong here. Do you see, it's quite short, this jacket. Yeah. And there was something wrong about that proportion. What saved this look for me and made me love this outfit, and I wore it so much, was I found this infamous gilet in uh, Zara about a few years ago. It just hangs very well, the fabric is very thin, but it means when I put this on, I get to have a layering piece underneath, which doesn't bulk up the jacket. It just allows for a flow in the jacket to continue. Yeah. That to me is a true layering moment. Yeah. Is there a trick to, because I just think if I put on that many layers, I would feel like I'm bulking. Thin layers, you know, this is a very thin fabric. Yeah. Um, it's a thin fabric here. Yeah. So. The thickness is important. Okay. Yeah, definitely. But I much prefer this as a look to what I had on before. This is a kind of shorter one. So this is a little kind of sleeveless um, waistcoat, but yeah. it adds something different. I wear this under so many things and it just adds an interesting panel. When I've got a very tight pair of jeans and you really see the disproportion of my legs to my body when I wear this it diffuses it that literally it's blowing my mind a bit because it looks like part of the jacket yeah and that's when you get a really good fit these are both from Zara it's not difficult to find them but you need to try you need to get the sizing right you know and then I probably add on I haven't even opened it yet but you know an art of layering is the accessorizing you put with it yeah I was given that for my birthday from shrimp oh actually just like brings the whole thing together. Goodness. A bag is in itself a layering piece. So nice. Yeah, that's my sort of black and white moment. Who's been good at layering in fashion? I think the Japanese are phenomenally good at layering. I uh -huh. think uh, Yoji Yamamoto, Comme des Garçons, you know, they all grew up in this art of layering. And 
volume on volume, which is something that, you know, traditionally we always uh, educate ourselves perhaps to do volume on the top, skinny on the bottom, or volume on the bottom, skinny on the top, but they sort of threw out all the rules and they might have an, had an elegant little thin ankle or wrist, but the rest was a lot of volume and beautiful. Inevitably quite dark colors. So I think an art of layering as well is to bring some color into it. But I'll show you another little trick I do. You might have an evening dress and you love it, but it has a deep V. Yeah. And you might want to think, how can I wear that more in my wardrobe? So what I love to buy from Cos, and they make them every year, and I put them inside the outfit and it just generally will always fit over the deepest of a deep V. And it gives this daytimeness to a dress. And then you can whisk it off in the change room and whisk out to dinner with a bit of red lip added on. Nice. And another one as well is if you have sleeveless dresses, layer them with a white shirt. On yeah. Them. So this is the leather dress, leatherette dress from Zara that I oh, did with Chloe. And you know, with that underneath it and a little belt, um, I can then wear that. To me, a lot of layering is about the length you get things to go to and where they end. So having the trouser, even though it's wide in this instance, and maybe there's too much volume under the dress, to me, it adds something to that outfit. Yeah, for sure. And I could have instead a very narrow trouser like that. So what's the rule there with um, the length on your legs? Well, to me, a rule is that if you do a trouser under a dress, I think an ankle crop okay. is perfect. Above your knee with that crop, the dress looks too short. This was like a really treasured um, coat that I bought from a liar in the sale of Harvey Nichols, and it's very difficult to get the sleeve on. So this will never do up and it looks too small. And I cannot move my arms, it's so nice. but it's the most beautiful ally coat. So what I did do the other day is I put a gilet underneath it. So you might have a coat that doesn't do up anymore, but it needs to put you on the arms, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm not suggesting you go around like a Dalek. So having that and that there, forget about the non-arm bending moment. Yeah. But what that does to the coat, I would hope, is you might think it's purposeful and not looking too small. But let me get this off now. Wow. It's just way too short. <laughs> okay. This is a trick I like to do. Let's say, you buy a coat and you're a bit cold still. I like to wear a gilet over a coat. Yes. I love a gilet over a coat. The rule here is proportionally, it can be shorter than the coat, but it gives you that cocoon shaped coat, with like, which I think is a fab shape. Another example, and I like this, and I do this so often with gilets, is when you have a jacket and you want to make it a coat. It's an old Balenciaga jacket. But imagine you had a gray jacket that fit. Mm-hmm. Um, and you want to make it warmer. So then if you find yourself a gilet, put it on top and it becomes this coat. I love that feel. I like the juxtaposition between the narrowness of the sleeve and the, and if you've got bigger arms and you're in, you feel uncomfortable around your arms, if you wear a fitted jacket and then a very big gilet over, your arms will look thinner. So this is just when I don't think one coat is enough and I want to have the look of two coats but I don't want the bulkiness of two coats. Right. So I will wear a gilet under a coat. So this is an acne coat. Um, and then underneath, I've got this little gilet from Zara, but I just love the way it gives something else to the outfit. Yeah. And that's what layering is. It's very nice when they are the same length. Yeah, it does work. It's lovely. And would you ever do double coat? As yes, a layering. I would do double coat as a layering. Okay. Another idea of taking shirts and wearing them over another shirt. So this is a sort of long shirt from Helmut Lang. This is also one of my favorite layering pieces for a number of reasons, and I would nearly copy this. It has this fantastic double um, neckline, mm -hmm. so it can be like that. And then I wear this endlessly. One of my favorite jackets I ever bought is this Zara jacket but I'll wear that slightly done up, and then I'll have that hint of white, Yeah. and then I'll have the shirt coming out the bottom, but it's not that heavy, and then if I want to put my hands in my pockets, I can, can. still do that. They're not blue sort of fighting, Yeah. so it does work well together, and then if I'm, if I'm going all out, <laughs> then I put the gilet on over, and even if you were size, you know, two or three sizes bigger, I feel one can still do it. 
there's a sense of a waist positioning. Oh. And that's kind of important thing in layering that you don't make your whole body look incredibly long. The other thing I've noticed as well with layering, unless you're doing a dress over trousers, is always give an opportunity for the movement of your legs to show. Sometimes layering can be the smallest detail. Sometimes layering can be just a sleeve popping out. It's just a beautiful cuff or a lovely neckline yeah. can do something to a, a jacket you find boring or you think needs a new lease of life. So I had this Marc Jacobs jacket years ago and I always wore it with a white t-shirt so it doesn't work. But just having some added detail, uh -huh. especially with something detailed already, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, and this is a particularly good, this is an old, I think it's a Christopher Kane shirt. Woo, colour! Colour, this is my last little bit of layering because I do adore layering dresses over trousers and they don't always need to be shorter dresses, um, they can be the same length. But when you've got summer caftans which slits up the side, which you don't want to show wearing in the city, but having a trouser underneath just gives it more of an urban edge. So I think caftan, you know, double usage, yeah. consider that. And then I'm walking around, you see that tiny bit, and it might seem, you know, it might seem three inches, but it's three inches of fundamentally changing the principle of how you look at that piece of clothing. Yeah. And that's what layering is about. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And with that bag as well, it's and with nice the bag. to bring in the, the yeah. flash of white. And bringing in the white, yeah. Anyway, I hope that, that was just very disjointed, but it gives you some ideas. But think of layering can be the littlest thing to making jackets coats, to the joy of a gilet, to the fact that layering should be open to everyone. I even taught Susanna some layering moments and Chloe in her curvy size 16 does layering moments too. And it's just giving your clothes extra room to breathe and flow and it's more than just a dress. It takes more time to layer. You have to think of your wardrobe, you have to think of what colors go together, but once you start it, you'll never want to stop. Okay, well, thank you. I'm off to layer up some clothes. Bye. Bye.